today we're here to launch the new intake in the performance schools. 47 children from seven schools and today we're just gathering to launch their four year programme. One of the things now that we're having graduates is that we've got a real sense of pride that we've helped these young men and women reach some of their goals and, and hopefully they can continue to do that. 15 of them getting professional contracts this year and much more getting contracts next year. I think that, you know, the chance is there for them. I think it's a, uh, it's a, a brilliant thing, something that, that I wished I could have, could have been involved in when I was younger. It was good to be involved today to see new inductees and, um, and two of the boys that have, have graduated. The boys are getting, getting good education and um, they're getting good coaching permanently, um, so it's something that can benefit Scottish football and benefit them going forward. It feels great to be a professional footballer and a club like Falkirk, I'm, I'm really happy to be involved with them. And, it's what I've wanted to be my whole life and uh, I feel really privileged to be there and all the support I've had through my journey through the academy coming up here, I've, I've been really happy with you. I, I didn't really know what to expect because I thought, mate, are they just going to work me totally technically or are we going to, don't know, work in different things as am I going to work more individually? And what I found out was that my coach Ian Ross, who is one of my best coaches I've ever had, um, he worked and uh, found out my weaknesses and obviously my strengths but it worked to uh, improve my weaknesses and stuff and it did that for every player. I remember doing PE and basketball and badminton, uh, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed doing it but it wasn't going to benefit me moving forward and thankfully these boys have, have got football just to focus on and that can only make us as a country uh, football wise stronger and uh, make, make us produce better players. And, um, hopefully I'll be putting alongside these boys in years to come. Every day you're given the opportunity to improve by about 1% and if you take that, if you take the opportunity every day you're just going to be, become a brilliant player and you'll manage to develop on and just be probably in the A squad one day and stuff. I, I, the advice I'd give them is to stick in and like, stay concentrated because it's a four year programme and it's maybe hard to stay concentrated for four years but You'll see the benefits in the end of it if they, if they manage to stick in and stay, stay focused. Hopefully it would resonate with them that, that yeah, they're only 12, in fact some of them are 11, but the four year short journey they could turn into a Johnny Mitchell or an Aaron Reid and then potentially a John McGinn. I, I think that was the main message today was that they can become those kinds of players if they really want it.